Hey, what's up, Darren? You know, obviously all eyes on this World Series. The crowd really starting to build outside Minute Maid Park. For a couple of craft brewers, though, in Houston and D.C., there is now more on the line than just pride. We reached out to the guys at D.C. Brow because, you know, they're a prominent D.C. area brewery and we're a prominent Houston brewery and we thought it'd be a, a great time to kind of exchange some beer. We love really good beer. Uh, they make really good beer. It's been a, a very, 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 very long time since Nats fans have gotten to really celebrate anything. Ouch, okay, we get it. It's been a long time. There's some serious smack talk from St. Arnold Brewing Company. Their challenge for their counterpart in the district, D.C. Brow, the brewery in the World Series winning city, gets a whole lot of good beer sent to them from the loser. D.C. Brow not backing down, and they actually have a trick up their sleeve if the Nats actually happen to lose. We're so confident that the Nats are going to take the World Series that we're willing to put our beer where our mouth is and we're sending some of our best beers out there on the wings of Armageddon, Joint Resolution, our Hazy IPA, a bunch of crazy stuff coming out of our barrel program, and this big mysterious brand, which nobody even knows about yet, but we're really excited to launch it in a couple weeks. And also a really cool moment here earlier today in the bar. I want you to take a look at those Nationals fans clad in red, the ones that say Rendon all over the back. Yep, you guessed it. Those are actually family members of national star Anthony Rendon, including his father-in-law and his mother-in-law in that group. They were the lucky ones who actually got some tickets from Anthony because with all the requests he got, Leslie, there was a lot of people waiting in line.